you know, this may sound like a strange word to use about us, but I think we need a little more humility. I think we need a little humility about the people who are so frustrated with us that they find themselves turning in desperation to Donald Trump, if for no other reason that he, I don't know if you can say this on the Calb Report, but he pisses us off. And people love that, just love it. Because we have become so arrogant in their perception, and maybe for real, that they're just looking for someone to take us down, not just a peg or two, but four or five pegs, and beyond that. You see, and, I would and say, that's not gonna change much. I would no, say, Ted, that we are not. Most reporters are not arrogant. Most uh, reporters are you, looking for a story. You misunderstand. I'm not I talking don't, I about- I don't think I did. I think you do. I'm not just talking about reporters. I'm talking about Anchorman? the establishment. And it, you know, we simply That's are- That's a cliche. A, we're, no, 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 we're a part of that establishment. They don't like Congress. They don't like the courts. They don't like the FBI. They don't like the intelligence agencies. And Trump has done an absolutely brilliant job of focusing, and we're merely part of that establishment, more visible perhaps, in their homes every day. Mm. But it's that which gives so much staying power to depicting the press as being an enemy of the people. It's grievance politics. It's a conservative so it victimhood complex that is in effect that we are seeing. I think of Fox News, part of which, I, look, I watch Fox News all the time. I compete with Fox News. A lot of its programming is about resentment and rage. Some of the things you're describing against the establishment even though they're multi-million dollar stars that are uh, evidence of an elite in this country. But I, I would have to say, going back to Spiro Agnew, we're still here. We're still standing, <laughs> right? It is worth noting that I mean, a lot of news outlets have seen growth in subscriptions, that at least some parts of the country actually trust the press more than they did a few years ago. It's unfortunately just created more of a divide between those who believe the New York Times and those who hate the New York Times.